In today's dish, we're taking you to Portugal, where Michelin-starred chef João Rodriguez is now halfway through a year-long culinary journey to help reconnect diners to the origins of their food. His pop-up gastronomic feasts are a two-part experience. First, a visit to the local producers whose produce he cooks, followed by a carefully curated dining experience held in stunning locations across the country, including a century-old lighthouse. That is where Remy Innocencio got a taste. Where the Atlantic crashes upon Portugal's central coast, this century-old lighthouse at Cape Mondego is about to be the short-lived residence for a single Saturday meal of seasonality by Chef João Rodriguez. Galeota is sizzling on the fire when we meet. That's Portuguese for eels. Perhaps not the first choice for many, but a local delicacy he wants to open more minds and mouths to. How much of a challenge is that to change that mindset to eat, in this instance, eels? Well, most, I think the most important thing is that people don't have the information. They don't know about it. So Rodriguez has made it his mission for people to find out. Leaving his established Michelin-starred restaurant, Fetoria, to take his food experience on the road in a project called Residencia. He's creating pop-up experiences across Portugal. One location in one weekend every month this year. Celebrating not just the final dish, but how each first begins. Before guests gather to eat, they're required to meet the producers who made, caught, or grew their food. When you see, oh, it's connected to this man, this family. And then you can make conscious choices. Ocean-loving Rodriguez had food on his mind since childhood. While some kids drew boats, his wasn't complete without a kitchen. My father uh, loves to, to fish and uh, used to take us to, to, to fish with him. How much of an influence did he have uh, on you going into gastronomy? Oh, huge. Uh, huge influence because uh, he likes to fish, to hunt, and he took us since we were uh, young kids. This is a local fish. Today's local choices celebrate this region's waters, from the rivers to the sea, and ultimately their connection to the land. With a menu that includes the freshest of fish, mollusks, and crustaceans. Before the guests arrive, I get first taste. Tell me the significance of sardines in Portuguese food. It means that summer is arriving. Each region uh, celebrates its own saint. Everybody goes out on the street grilling sardines with peppers. <laughs> Summer's here, everyone. Yeah, everyone grab go a out sardine. On the street. Joao's sardines are served with pitao, a local skate liver sauce. Mm. So it's sweet, and at the same time you can feel the, the smokiness of, of the, and the fat. And then the lift, I think, from the skate liver is coming into my nose. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. It's delicious. <laughs> Up next, a chilled tomato Summer, soup tomato. with spider crab. So we are trying to use only seasonable products. Mm -hmm. So tomato cold soup with spy, uh, spider crab. It's a very Portuguese uh, species of, of crab. And we serve it with a little bit of uh, egg and fresh herbs on top, like mint and coriander, of course. Okay, when nice. in Portugal, a lot of coriander. I see the egg there. Here we go. Mm, I just got a spine tingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Followed by local squid with fresh goat Ooh. butter. So you have uh, sweetness coming from the sea and saltiness coming from the inland, which is kind of a uh, contradiction. What do you suggest? The head or the tentacles? Tentacles are really good. I think we, you should go with this part. Right here. here. All right, here we go. And we have to cook it really fast and with strong eat. Was this just caught today? Yeah. Oh, amazing. In the morning. Amazing, amazing. I think you can go sure. with this. And more from this morning's right, catch, so, which also loves uh, squid. It's now time for swordfish because they like to eat squid. We need strong flavors, uh, citric flavors to go with it. So this is a, a sauce made with uh, lemons and capers. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, and there's a the citrus. It came out a little bit later. Mm. A lot of freshness, acidity. 
While tantalizing taste buds and teaching appreciation, Rodriguez's cross-country tour has four months to go and four more destinations. Is another star in the future for you? Uh, we never know. <laughs> the recognition, you know, it's always very welcome, but I think we have to work on what we feel very passionate about. What do you hope people will remember about food for their next meal? You have to get awareness that we are taking out things from nature in order to eat. I think we have to be very respectful with, with food and to be very grateful, to cherish, to cherish the moment. People watching might say, oh gosh, I, I, I don't have the time. Well, get time. <laughs> <laughs> time is the luxury of, of uh, this century. Try to get time and, and do things that you love. It's the most important. Such a treat, slowing down on the Portuguese coast. For CBS Saturday Morning, Remy Innocencio, Figueira de Foz, Portugal. I want some squid right now. I'd like some sardines. It was the presentation, everything of that was so beautiful. I don't know, like just looking the at scene. how he, yeah. And just, also, not just the scene, but the bowls yeah. and the plates, yeah. everything, flatware that he used, gorgeous. Sitting by the coast. Just, yeah eating some fresh seafood and... Wouldn't it be nice to go overseas and enjoy Like a some team of that? field trip to yes, Portugal? Yes, yes. Instead, yes. we will toast. Yeah. Let's toast. Instead. And what little is this? Spark, little sparkling wine, Sparkling wine there, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Nice job, Ramey.